Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm super excited, you guys. This is going to be probably a long unstuffing, but we're going to be finishing the 2024 in 2024 challenge. We're probably over, but that's okay because I'm ecstatic that this even was able to be done. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Anyone who bought from my Etsy shop, anyone who um, cash opted us, gave us money on GoFundMe, um, all of the things, supported watching our videos, you guys are amazing. I cannot tell you enough how much this community has been a blessing to us. Um, we are done. We're done. I think we're done. I'm not going to be able to stuff money into envelopes like I thought, but that's okay because I have the exact amount right here from which we, we tracked and we're going to go over that in a minute. So let's make sure that our math is correct. So it says here that we need one number 13 and I'm going to get my markers out. So as we color, I am going to mark these off. So 13 is right here. And we're going to use our calculator. That was a little loud, <laughs> but we're going to use our calculator. So 13 You have no idea how excited I am to have this done. So 13, if I can see it, 13 plus, and then 17, which was, actually, let's do it this way. So we know we colored in 13, so I'm going to mark that off. And then 17 is going to go 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I know I'm doing a terrible job, <laughs> eight, and then nine, and we'll double count that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 17 times nine is 153, which that is what we have written down here, 153. So we're gonna mark that off. And then let's get that really peachy pink that I like. Let's grab that one. It is this one here. And then we're gonna make sure that 22 is 176. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. So let's make sure. So 22 times 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 22 times 8 is 176. And that is what we have written down here, 176. So now let's do the math. So 13 plus 13 plus 153 plus 176 equals 
355. Did I do that right? This is going to be frustrating. 13 plus 153 plus, why am I doing that? 13 plus 153 plus 136 equals, there we go, 342. So we have 100, 200, 300. I know you can't see that. That was terrible. Terrible, terrible. 1, 2, 3, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. So I know it's disappointing, but I'm going to have to first put my markers away. That's not the disappointing part, but I'm going to have to pause on putting any more in envelopes, but look at how beautiful these turned out. Look at that. That is so many envelopes. So let's go ahead and get to unstuffing. See how much we actually saved. This is going to take me a hot minute. I have never finished a 100 envelope challenge ever, you guys, ever. And I'm so excited that this could be my first and I'm glad that it has a super needed purpose because I didn't know what I was going to originally use this for. I actually thought about using this money to go towards a bigger debt that I have. I don't have a lot of debt and I can tell you right now I'm grateful for that. Um, I have a couple of personal debts besides my credit cards, but most of my debt journey came from a large learning lesson when I was homeless and I had to really, really, really focus on getting into a place. I had an eviction. My finances were not in order at all. I knew how to budget, but I just never stuck to it. I couldn't stick to it. Or I just had other people in my family who wanted to spend money differently. At the time when I got out of debt, I was beyond relieved. My husband and I were dating at the time when I became debt free and he thought that I, I swear you guys, he must have thought I was a psycho because I was so excited that we celebrated. We had a little celebration dinner at work. We were working together at a um, convenience store and we were on the same shift. Our boss did not know that we were dating and he was like, why is she so freaking excited? I'll never forget that. And I was beyond excited, you guys. I could have screamed up and down, cried. Um, I could have done all the things. So there's that. That is so cute, that little box. It's a little treasure box. So we're still going along. So how much do you think is actually in here? Everyone says there's an extra 50, but I don't know. I don't know if there's an extra 50 in here. If there is, it's okay. We are excited to save whatever we can because truthfully, this was an estimate and we're hoping that we can get under 2000 to get these repairs done. It's not a full roof replacement or anything crazy pants like that. I could not afford anything like that. Luckily, some of our roof is still metal, so I don't understand. I don't understand the roof. I don't understand some of the repairs done on this place, but now it's ours and we get to fix all of the mistakes. So I'm going to put this aside somewhere. I'm like holding it in my hand. Take it. Somebody take it. All right. This is crazy. George, do you want to come look at this? 
He's eating something. I think it's Girl Scout cookies. I want him to see it. Holy shit. So this is what it looks like finished, colored in, and this is all of the money. Do you think we're over? I have no idea. Cause I can't read. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Um, I think we might be a little over. I hope so. We don't like. I was telling them we don't really know the actual. Like, we we've done the the research and we we've, we've talked to you know people about the roof repair, but we haven't actually like gone to in depth ourselves with it. So we're hoping that this is enough. But this is a lot of unfolding. Would I do this again? I think so. I think I'm actually going to try the one from Mandy's Budgets. It's so funny, she gets my name mixed up, but we have the same name. But that's okay, because I want to call her Amanda at times as well. Because I'm like, but your name is Amanda. I know it is. So, but I have been binge watching some of you guys. Lady Dice Saves, Jamie's Realistic Life, Mandy's Budgeting, Journey, and I have been watching a ton of Life at 60-ish. Just because I like to get different perspectives from everybody. I do watch Lisa from Figuring Out Retirement. Um, I watch her on the TV though, like at three in the morning when I can't sleep. <laughs> so I watch all you ladies. I like to watch a variety, you know, I, I do watch some of you bigger budgeters out there. I do watch, um, a lot of low income people because you know, it's relatable. It's relatable. And it's not that I don't love watching the rest of you guys. I just... Sometimes I get discouraged. I'll be real. I get discouraged. But, I will say, this is crazy. I have never, ever, ever seen this much folded money like this on my channel ever. Like I had that giant wad of ones and fives from my piggy bank. If you've been watching my channel from a long time ago, I had those one time breakable jars and I can tell you right now, this is something totally different. All right, we're getting closer. The money is big and my hand is little. I have little hands, guys. All right, we're almost there, we're almost there. This is the hard part. This is where I wish I could fast forward. Um, I am still looking into some assistance. I did not get into the weatherization program. We did not qualify, but um, I am going to look into some energy assistance to try to get our electricity figured out. I did pay them that large bill. I've never had a bill like that before. I know a lot of you guys are saying it in your channels lately, especially in 2024, about how expensive everything has really gotten. And I don't want to complain, you know, because this is a good, wholesome, positive video. But I feel the pinch. I feel it. It is what it is. All right. I feel like we're getting closer and closer. There's a lot of 20s in here. A lot of 20s. A lot more 20s than I would think that there is ones at this point. I could be wrong. We're going to divvy it out and see. 
but somebody was like, please don't fast forward all this stuff. Please don't do a bunch of editing. Um, one girl was like, we want to see you do it all. Beginning to finish. So that's what we're doing. I have a bunch of new things in my Etsy shop. Please go check them out. It will all go towards a good cause of making sure that we are able to continue on to do some of these things. And the hope is that I would never have to do a GoFundMe for something like this again. The hope is that we're going to be able to get back to saving and doing things like I had planned for the year. I had a whole year planned out on paper, in my head, and you know, if you've been there, you've been there, that it doesn't always go the way pl it's planned, right? But it was going really well, especially at the beginning. You know, we, we had a lot of struggling with moving here and trying to figure out this little town but now we know that this is not a town to work in. It's just a town to live in. And that's okay. All right. We are almost there. We're almost there. I feel like that, that's the best method to go about it. Grab a stack, fold it in half. Hot dog way, not hamburger. Oh, thinking of that, that reminded me of school. So my kids have been doing some pretty intensive, totally different schooling than I did in the 90s. And I'm telling you guys, some of the way that they do math is kind of a little bit backwards in my opinion and I don't know if I like it. I almost feel like I need to go take a class to figure out how they're doing some of these assignments. I'm like, but that doesn't make sense. But I'm used to just doing regular old math. All right, so we're gonna get these stacks in order. So 20 tens, so we're just gonna do this. 20s, 10s, and we have a 50, 20, 20. This is going to be very difficult on this small sur surface. to concentrate. Alright. Almost there. Almost there. Here's a bunch of ones. is already starting to hurt my hands a little bit. <laughs> All right. Maybe they need to be a little bit more separated. There we go. So there's one... There's five, a 20. So I will say 90% of this came from donations, from Cash App, GoFundMe. Um, and I do have one particular person to thank. You know who you are. I haven't gotten permission to say your name. And sometimes I feel like that's okay. 
especially since everybody out there is in need. I'm blessed that this person really did help us out. Like, I don't even know what to say about all this cash. Like, this is amazing. But this has been a long-term dream of mine. I am the first official homeowner um, since my grandparents. My, I guess my aunt on my mother's side, her dad and her, er, her dad, my aunt and uncle on my mother's side inherited a house and they were buying a house. I don't know if they own both or they just have one, but they are the only ones um, he is a math tutor. My aunt and uncle on my dad's side have a house. Um, my uncle, my dad's youngest brother, had an opportunity of owning a home as well, um, even though it did not stick long term. My parents were never able to purchase a home. Um, just wasn't in their price range, you know? Um, even when they were doing really well, it was never the right time, the right place kind of situation. And I am going to beat that by continuing to be a homeowner because it is super important as we grow as humans to be able to state that we did certain things in our lives. This might not be my last home ownership, and that's okay, because this is an older manufactured home. I cannot get a loan on it. I can't get a lien on the, on the, the whole situation. It's a 1966, but it's a stepping stone, and sometimes a stepping stone just means that we had to start somewhere. So if you are, in a situation where you're like, I don't really want to do a mobile home, manufactured home, travel, or not travel, this is definitely not a travel trailer. Uh, somebody we know close to us called this a travel trailer. I'm like, dude, you could not pull this giant thing with a truck. You'd have to get a semi to come and pull this thing. It's small to us, but it's actually quite large. And no, the bills are not going to go all the right way, but we already know what is what. Because everything is separated. Look at all those ones. Look at that. Might have to buy some ones for myself. And then we've got the 20s. That That is crazy to me. All right. So here's the last chance. Let me know in the comments how much do you think is here because I don't know. So we're going to get our Fancy Dance reused sheet of paper, like so. And we're going to get a pen of some sort. Pen. Okay. And we're going to say 50s, 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. Okay, and then we'll add it all up. We're gonna roll our sleeves up. So we have 51, 52, 53, 50. So 51, 52, 53, 50. So 350. And then we're gonna go on to this stack and we're gonna do stacks of 100 to start. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, make 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, make another 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, makes another 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 400. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 500. So this is a stack of 500. 
And then one, two, three, four, five. 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 So, five. So, one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 400. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 makes 500. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So that's $1,000 right there. And then 20, 40, 60. So 1,060 is now there. And then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I'm going to do these in hundreds as well. Remove that. So 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, another 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 makes another 100. So that's 300. And then 20, wow, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40. 340, 340. Okay. And now on to the fives. This is going faster than I thought. I thought this would be an hour long video. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So there's a hundred. And then five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, another 100. So that's 200 right here. So that's 200. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 255. So 255. And don't worry, the bank is going to recount all this stuff. So we're going to put that here. And then on to the ones, which we're going to just do as many as we can. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So here's 50. Put that there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, ah, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that's 80. 50 and 30 make 80. So it's $80. Grand total. All right. So I told you guys we had more 20s than anything else. So 350 plus... 1,060 plus 340 plus 255 plus 
Katie equals $2,085. So minus 2024 equals, so we were over by $61. Okay, simple math. Simple, simple. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at it all. Ah, oh, look at it all. It's all done. Oh, I could just scream outside in excitement, but somebody would go, what in the heck is wrong with that lady and neighbor of ours? Crazy lady. But yes, $2,085. So we were over $50, obviously somewhere, but I also added more into some numbers than others. So, this is the stack. That makes me crazy excited. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are gonna get our roof done. Ah, I'm so excited. Look at that. That is crazy. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna lose my voice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, roof repair. So this means that soon I will be able to re-utilize parts of my house that we no longer are using because of the roof leaking. Oh, that makes me be beyond excited, you guys. I am so appreciative of this. Again, thank you so much to everyone who has helped out so much over the last couple of months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like words can't even say how thankful I am. That's crazy. I just want to hold it a little longer <laughs> before we drive it to the bank. So I do have a bank bag I can put this in. We're going to go to the bank. We're going to cash this in for obviously smaller bills than this because this is not going to fit in um, this. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. We are not going to be able to fit this honker in here. There's no way. Look at that. That could not fit in there. That one. We're talking that one, guys. <laughs> this would be nice in the winter fun. Very nice. But we're, we're looking to repair the roof. So that way we have a place to live for winter. So as always... Just remember, you guys, you can only do what you can do. Be thankful for those who are there out there helping you. Um, even if it's the smallest thing, they're trying their best. You're trying your best. I'm cheering you on from Oregon. And if you have watched us all the way through, leave me a hashtag finished or hashtag Cheers, because we are going to literally get our roof fixed. But do what you can with what you got, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!